Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of doing a photograph on black granite tile. A little bit about the tile, it comes from, I get mine from Home Depot, it comes in 12 by 12 inch, and it's about a quarter inch, three eighths inch thick. It's really heavy duty, clear. I mean, it's got some speckles in it, but I mean, if you could see this in person. Anyway, we've done the photograph in Photograve to get it to this point. And the first time I ever did this, I'm going, there's no way that that's going to work. But it is incredible. So, a couple of things that I do. And I'm no expert, but this is the way I've done it for 10 years, and it seems to work. And I also have a tile saw, and if you're going to do a lot of these, you might want to invest in them. You can get them for under $200 at Harbor Freight and um, cut them into 4x4s. Four four and so I do a lot of 8x12 photographs or memorial plaques or thing. So I have 4-inch uh, by 12-inch pieces of scrap. And if you don't have a tile saw, instead of wasting... Let's say you're doing this for the first time and, you, and you're not sure it's going to work and you, you don't know if you did everything correctly. Well, instead of wasting a 8 by 10 on this tile, I made a duplicate of my engravable from photograve copy and I'm going to just go to my crop tool. And the most important part of this photograph is these three individuals' faces. So I'm just going to crop this. And then I'm going to take it to my laser and I'm going to run just that. And one, it'll save you a lot of time. If it's not right, and I just did this today, so it worked. And so if you don't have a tile cutter, you could get, you know, four, three or four or five tests out of a $5 piece of tile before you waste it. But anyway, then you bring in your photograph and this is what I do different. And, and maybe other people do this, but I do not want, okay, the photograph is 8 by 12, the tile is 12 by 12, so instead of cutting it, you're going to put it at the top, and then you've got 4 by 8, 4 by 12 piece of deal down here to put this lady's birthday, she just recently passed away, and I'm doing a memorial plaque and put her date of birth and date of plaque, but this is an 8 by 12 box that I have in Corel Draw. This is what I do a little bit differently. I stretch this photograph just a hair. So is it on the outside of my red line all the way around? And then that way, because one thing I do not want to do, you know, you're not wasting any of the engraving because it's actually making your picture just a hair bigger. But one thing you don't want is a black strip where the engraver did not touch. You know, if your laser's not perfectly dead on as uh, far as this box up in your top left corner, it's going to actually engrave off the edge so you're not going to have any black lines. Now, I engraved this on my Epilogue 60 Watt Fusion and I did it per the book. I ran it at 90 speed, 40 power, which is an epilogue's book, and I ran it at 300 dots per inch. And if you look at that right there, and like I say, the photograph knows, does it no justice, but it is incredible. I mean, it is, it's not a color picture, but it is sharp, and they're fun, and, and if, you're, if you're not doing photos on tile, you're, you're kind of missing the boat. Because for five dollars, and I think this took twelve minutes to run. There's a lot of money to be made. Um, you know, I charge twenty-five dollars just for text on tile, and you had a photograph, and you've done it. You know, it did what it took five minutes to get it ready, so you can get fifty bucks. You know, ten times your money for just to run it through a software. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.